have a little thrift tip to share with you today. For a couple months, I have been doing a little experiment for myself, thrifting in sections of the thrift store I normally ignore. For example, I don't look at the shoes very often because I don't find shoes very often, so I usually just skip it. But do I not look because I'm not finding shoes? Or am I not finding shoes because I'm not looking? The sections I paid a little extra attention to are shoes, electronics, athletic wear, pajamas, swimwear, oh, and the color red. A lot of my thrift stores group by color when it comes to clothes, and I normally skip the reds. I'm gonna give you a little haul of all the things in these categories that I found since starting this experiment. Pajamas. I found some really great pajamas. I focused on pajama bottoms. I wanted something really comfortable and really high quality. I'll show you some of the patterns. Love this floral pattern. Got some pink stripes with some little pink polka dot accents. And I really love this one. It's a little warm, but I think the pattern is just so good. Pink and red chinoiserie pattern. I think that is so cute and it's a flannel, so it's warm, but it's also really cozy. Also in the pajama section, I started looking for robes, and I found two really great ones. Gorgeous Paisley. It's like silky, satiny. I love it. This one is so cute. Red plaid, teddy bears, ruffles. I could not ask for more. It's quilted, so it's like really thick and so warm. I wore this on Christmas morning, and I am just obsessed. It's adorable. I'm so glad I found this. This next one I found kind of before I started the experiment. It may have subconsciously inspired me to start this experiment, um, but I want to include it because it was a really great red clothing find. Red leather jacket. If you follow me on social media, you've probably seen this. I call it my Lorelei Gilmore jacket because it looks just like something Lorelei Gilmore would wear. Super high quality. I am so pleased with this find and I have worn it a lot already. I will definitely keep looking for more red clothes. Two more finds to show you and I am saving the best for last. Let's go to shoes next. I did really good. I found one pair. <laughs> so I don't know if that's really good, but I love the pair that I did find. It's this really nice, like basically unused, although I, I've used them now, a pair of Sperry's loafers. I love the lighter stitching on them, and I've already gotten a lot of wear out of them. My last and favorite find for this experiment electronics. I will look at lamps. That's about it <laughs> for electronics, but mostly I skip it because I don't need an alarm clock. I don't need a curling iron, but I do need. A light up jack-o-lantern he is absolutely adorable and he does work hold on he's got like a little orange light bulb inside of him which creates this gorgeous orange glow I love him so much I cannot wait to bring him out for Halloween he is gonna get a paint job he's already painted um, and he could just use some touch-ups he might still be orange when I'm done with him I'm not sure yet I think it could be really fun to make him a little more realistic or maybe I just screw the light bulb in. It's just a little loose. <laughs> he, he does work, I promise. You're embarrassing me. Okay, we'll just leave him off. I think it would be really fun to do like pink or black or I don't know. We'll see. Overall, I think this experiment was pretty successful and it definitely showed me that maybe not every time, but every so often I need to be checking out some areas that I normally would glance over at the thrift store. Take this as your sign to do the same. Think about the areas that you probably skip when you're thrifting. And next time you're there, maybe just swing by. You never know what you're going to find. Thanks so much for watching. You can find more thrift and vintage home inspiration at worcesterround.com and make sure you're following along on social media so you never miss a find.